Hi everyone, it's Rob again. I'm going to take a few minutes to walk you through the process of finding the interest rate when we're working with compound interest. That's an important thing to be able to do. Um, often we know how much we pay for an investment and we know how much we get back out of it later on. But what we're curious about is what kind of rate of return was that? Was that like a 10% return on our investment or a 20% return? That sort of thing. Sometimes it's hard to tell by just looking at the numbers, but uh, if we run through the formula here, I'm going to show you in a minute, we can work out that rate exactly. So let's have a look. The formula that we're going to use is this one here. I is equal to the future value divided by the present value, all multiplied to the power of 1 over n, and then we'll take away 1. That's going to give us the interest rate per compounding period. So if our uh, compounding periods are annual, well, I will give us a nominal rate, but if they're monthly, Remember, this is a rate per month to bring it back up to a year. We'll multiply by 12 to get the nominal rate compounded monthly. So quarterly, we'll multiply by 4 once we're done. That sort of thing. I'll show you that in just a second. So let's have a look at an example here. In this case, Ernie uh, is looking at some shares he purchased in Megastore. So he bought $1,000 worth of shares 10 years ago, and he just sold those shares for $3,248. All right, so he's just over tripled his money in those 10 years. What kind of rate of return is that? And in this case, let's work that out as a J12 or as a monthly compounded rate of return and see what he gets. So here's the base numbers from the question. He started with $1,000. That's what he paid for the shares. So that was the present value. Uh, they grew to 32.48. So that's the future, future value, the value later on. And how many periods did he have? Well, we're compounding monthly, so 10 years would be 120 months. There's the formula again. And if I plug in the numbers, 3248 over 1,000 to the power of 1 over 120. Sometimes putting brackets around the 1 over 120 in your calculator will help you get this straight, right? Uh, and then subtract 1. What do we get? Well, i is equal to 0 0.00986534. Multiply that by 12 and then multiply by 100 and add the percent sign to get the J12 or the nominal rate compounded monthly. So that's the annual rate compounded monthly, 11.84%. And that's all you have to do. If you're interested in using this video, uh, you're more than welcome to under the terms of Creative Commons, non-commercial, no derivative works. Uh, you can visit their website if you'd like to find out more about how that license works or you can contact me as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.